Hey guys, have you ever wanted a solar powered electric vehicle? Something you never have to refill at the gas station? Well, thanks to EcoFlow, I'm gonna show you how. Stay tuned. And I'm gonna show you why and how we can do that with some of what you see behind me. That is the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra. I think I got it right that time. There's a lot to, that's a tongue twister for me. This EV charger hooks in right here on this Ultra. And because I have solar panels and this has an app that goes with it i don't have to actually charge it with the um solar panels it can do all of that but i can program it to only charge during the day and then just plug it into my wall so it's getting augmented power to charge it's getting augmented power to charge and when the sun goes down it stops charging so the solar is helping to charge it. I have 20 amp outlets here. Right now you see I'm only using it for the battery charger. This is a 30 amp, 120 volt outlet. And this is a 30 amp, 240 volt outlet, which means that that outlet allows you to do a lot of stuff. This is for, actually that's a 4G data dongle. And this is where you can put some of your solar input. That on the top is a DC output, 12.6 volts DC. You cannot charge with 12 volts there. That is an output. Now this is a low, Photovoltaic, so solar panel, low voltage input right beneath it. That's 30 to 150 volts DC. That's where my solar panels would plug in. And maybe in the future, I'll add additional solar panels. But right now, I'm going to keep it like this because when the sun is up, I don't use much electricity. So plugging it in like this to charge it and then programming it not to charge at night is the easiest way to do it. And over here, this is, I don't know if this is new or not, but that is a high voltage solar panel input. Let me see if there's a way I can read how much. High port input, that is 80 volts to 450 volts. And this little switch right beside the inputs, that's a disconnect. And the better part of this, this is very versatile. You can stack five of these batteries. This is just a battery and they're connected right here. You can stack five of these batteries and use this one inverter. And then you can get three stacks of those and power transfer switch it's like a breaker panel but it's a transfer switch and you can power your house with that you can use it as backup power the transfer switch has a grid tie inverter this inverter here is not a grid tie inverter so with the transfer station that they have that makes this much more versatile but even with this just as it is Using this right here in the connection I have on the side of my house, I can power my house with it as is, just as is, up to 30 amps. And this can power an RV. There's a lot RV companies could do with something like this, but let's focus on what we can do at the house. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you my generator input and how this can hook up to my generator input on the side of my house 
to use it as backup power. I can use it that way, but I have to kill the power to the house to use it. I would really like to hook up their transfer switch and be able to supply any kind of power to my house. But um, I happen to live out in the sticks and I've already called and asked for somebody to install one for me. Um, <laughs> the electricians around here don't know anything about solar panels. In fact, the one I talked to, I knew more about him than he did. He's, he just don't work on solar panels. So I'm gonna try to learn how to do it myself and put it in and I do have an electrician friend and maybe he's gonna help me out with it. At least maybe install a transfer switch or something like that. But um, as is, I just have it charging the battery, maintaining the battery in my vehicle and charging during the day. So um, it's really versatile. I'm gonna try to throw up some pictures of this thing hooked up to a house. And in all honesty, with three of them, you can do, what is it, 50 amps into a house. And for a lot of houses, that might be enough. I'm not sure how many amps I can put in. Let me research that, and if I find it, I'll throw it up on the screen right here. But in all honesty, a stack of three of these with one of those transfer switches, if you got solar panels that could charge those, that might be all you need for a house. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the introduction to this. So what I can do when I was talking about powering an EV, with no electricity you can power that with solar panels completely and then charge up your car during the day a stack of five of those actually you don't need all those to power an ev but it would help um it's very versatile there's a lot of things you can do with this thing and i'm glad ecoflow sent it out to me and that's the ecoflow delta pro ultra did i get that right I hope you enjoyed the video. I do appreciate EcoFlow for sending them out, and um, I hope to cooperate with them some more. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.